Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today we're going to talk about what is performance testing. There are many different types of testing that happen in a QA software testing world, one of which being performance testing. Performance testing is a type of software testing that measures the performance of a system or application under a specific workload. The goal of performance testing is to identify and mitigate potential performance issues and bottlenecks before they impact end users. I know I said a lot of vocabulary just now. I'll break it down further in the video, but just stay with me for now. High level distinct performance testing. We're seeing if our system can handle a certain amount of users or security, things like that. This video will cover why is performance testing important? The different types of performance testing, how performance testing is done, and performance testing tools. First off, why is performance testing even important? With software testing, we always have to meet customer expectations. We get requirements from a customer, and then we're gonna develop for that and test for that to make sure what we promise to the customer, we're actually gonna to deliver to them. Performance is just another criteria that they give us requirements for that we need to test for. And performance testing helps to ensure that whatever we promise to the customers or the business users or end users, our application actually withstands. Performance testing helps to ensure that whatever we promise to the end users or customers, that it will be stable and maintain its reliability under different load conditions and support a company's growth and success. There are several reasons why performance testing is essential. First off, identify performance issues. Performance testing helps to identify performance issues such as slow response times, memory leaks, and concurrency issues. This enables developers to isolate and resolve issues before they impact the end users or customers. Next, you want to ensure customer satisfaction. User satisfaction is critical to the success of any application. Performance testing helps to ensure that the application meets the customer's expectations in terms of response time, reliability, and availability. What do companies care about? Revenue. With performance testing, we wanna make sure we prevent revenue loss. Poor application performance can result in revenue loss due to dissatisfied users and negative reviews. Performance testing helps to identify performance issues before they impact the business's bottom line. After that, we have all these resources for our application. We wanna make sure we're optimizing those resources and that they're actually getting put to use as they should be. Performance testing can help optimize system resources such as memory and CPU usage. This can help to reduce hardware and infrastructure costs by identifying areas where resources are being underutilized or overutilized. And last but not least, every company wants to grow so we gotta show we support scalability. So as that company grows and scales, we can still support them without application or service. Performance testing is essential to ensure that an application can handle increased number of users or transactions. This is critical for applications that experience spikes in traffic or usage, such as during peak periods or promotions. So now we just covered why performance testing is important. Now let's talk about the different types of performance testing. First, we have load testing. This is probably the most common one. It's testing a website or application under a heavy load or a large amount of users. The goal of load testing is to find out what's the capacity that our application or software can handle. If we do load testing with 500 users at the same time, will our system break? What about a thousand users? We're trying to see what that threshold is for our breaking point. That way we can promise to the customers up to this amount will work for our service or application. Next we have stress testing. There's some slight overlap with the previous one, but I'll still dive into this one. Stress testing is testing the application under extreme conditions, such as a heavy load, like in load testing, high traffic, and insufficient resources. Like load testing, stress testing is here to see what's our breaking point for the application and if we can recover gracefully when it does break. Next, we have volume testing. Volume testing is testing when large amounts of data is thrown at our application. This is usually done through a database. 
when a lot of transactions happen at the same time, let's say for a company's Black Friday sale, as much of transactions, those transactions have to get saved in a database. Can our database handle that load? Next up, spike testing. And spike testing, we're doing our testing with different spikes where it's normal, then a large amount of users, then back to normal, then another spike. This is very common, like the previous example where there's a limited promotion where between 12 o'clock and one o'clock, there's a sale. Before 12 o'clock, the web page is gonna be static. It's gonna be consistent with the traffic. Once that time hits, it's gonna spike up for an hour, then go back down. Can that website handle that spike? And once it goes back down, can it recover? Or is the website gonna slow it down, be a bad user experience? We got two more, stay with me. Next up is endurance testing. So the previous testing, we're doing like spike where it's, it's quick instances of high traffic then back to normal. But with endurance testing, for long periods, we're sending a bunch of traffic at it. And saying, hey, for a long period, if we send a thousand users on your website, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be slow? The goal of endurance testing is to identify any performance issues related to sustained use. And last but not least, scalability testing. Like I said, every company wants to grow. They gotta see if they can use our service or application to help them grow. Because as they're growing, if we're limiting their growth, they're not gonna use us. So we're gonna test in advance and say, hey, you're at a thousand users right now daily. We can scale up to 10,000 without any problems. So far we talked about why performance testing is important. We talked about the different types of performance testing. Now let's talk about how to actually do performance testing. The first step in performance testing is to identify the key performance metrics that will be used to measure the application's performance. Common metrics include response time, throughput, and resource utilization. Step two, define the workload. The next step is to define the workload that the application will be subjected to during the performance testing. This workload can be based on the expected usage patterns of the application, or it can be simulated using load testing tools. Step three, we create test scenarios. Test scenarios are created to replicate real world scenarios and user behavior. These scenarios define the task that the user will perform and the number of concurrent users that will access the application. So just like with regular testing, we have to configure a testing environment for us to test in. The test environment should be configured to simulate the production environment as closely as possible. This includes configuring the hardware, software, network, and database components of the application. So now we have everything set up, it's time to test it and do performance testing. Once the test environment is configured, the performance test can be conducted. During these tests, the application is subjected to varying levels of workload and the performance metrics are measured. Step six, we did our testing, it's finished. Now we're gonna analyze the results. After the tests are completed, the performance metrics are analyzed to identify any bottlenecks or performance issues in the application. This analysis can help developers and testers to identify areas for improvement and optimize the application's performance. So now we did all of our testing and analysis. Now it's time to iterate and improve. Based on analysis of the performance testing results, the application can be optimized and tested again. This iterative process of testing and optimization helps to ensure that the application is performing at its best and can handle the expected workload. So we talked about why performance testing is important, the different types of performance testing, the steps to carry out performance tests. Now let's talk about the performance testing tools. You don't have to use a tool, but it makes it a lot easier to carry out the performance tests. First we have Apache JMeter. I personally use this tool a lot and it's one of my favorites. It is a widely used open source tool, meaning it's free, for load testing and performance testing of web applications. Number two, Load Runner. Another performance testing tool developed by Microfocus. It supports various protocols such as HTTP, HTTPS, and SAP GUI. Gatling, another open source tool for load testing web applications. It's written as Scala and can simulate a large number of users. Neoload, a performance testing tool developed by Neotis. 
It supports a wide range of applications and protocols such as HTTP, HTML5, WebSockets, and SAP. BlazeMeter is a cloud-based performance testing tool that can simulate a large number of users and provide real-time reports. WebLoad, it is a load testing tool developed by RadView. It supports HTTP, HTTPS, and SOAP. LoadComplete, this was developed by SmartBear. It supports web applications and can simulate real-world scenarios. Rational Performance Tester, Silk Performer. This was developed by MicroFocus, like another previous one. It supports HTTP, HTTPS, and SOAP. And last but not least, AppVance. This is a cool one because it uses artificial intelligence to generate test scripts and perform load testing of web applications. Now let's wrap it up. As you can see, performance testing is a whole new world of testing that really gets talked about, but is required for any major company. Depending on the tool used for performance testing, it can be done by manual testers, automation testers, or by developers. I'll make future videos diving into more performance tools. I have a few on my page already for things such as K6, but if you want one in particular, please comment it below. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. If you need help on your QA journey, check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.